image, I celeb, Tina Malone has been pictured for the first time since she was sacked from her pantomime role after admitting cocaine possession. The 54-year-old was spotted looking glum as she ran errands in a pair of leather trousers and biker boots. Tina appeared to be keeping a low profile as she went makeup free and wore her hair covered by a pink woolly hat. Just days before Christmas, the shameless actress was fired from her role as wicked fairy godmother Carabas at the Cloud Nine Theatre in Barrow in Furness, Cumbria following her arrest. While she attempted to keep her head down as she indulged in some last minute Christmas shopping, Tina found herself stopped in the car parked by a member of the public. The passerby came over to give Tina a hug as she made her way into the supermarket. Since the arrest Tina has been branded a selfish diva by ex-pantomime colleagues who claimed she locked herself in the theatre's only toilet for hours, causing chaos for the young cast. A former cast member said Tina would barricade herself in the only working toilet backstage, leaving child actors so desperate they would wet themselves. She was arrested on Friday evening after police were tipped off she may be carrying the Class A drug. She later accepted a caution. A source told Mir Online, she was an absolute nightmare. There was only one working toilet backstage and she would just sit in it for hours saying she was smoking. If you tried to go in she would scream and shout at you, even the kids were sworn at. With a cast of children the toilet needed to be available but Tina didn't care, she just wanted to stay in there. And when she wasn't in the toilet she was in her dressing room, surrounded by rolls of 20 pound notes. Shocked theatre staff also said she made no secret of her cocaine possession, adding she was heard asking for her little bag of snow before going on stage. Suspicious parents at the Sleeping Beauty pantomime also reportedly saw her with a white substance under her nose. Tina Malone quizzed by police over claims she was taking cocaine during panto performances. A show source told The Sunday People, Tina had been asking people earlier in the evening if they had seen her little bag of snow. She seemed concerned that it had gone missing. One of the parents at the panto noticed a white substance under her nose and asked what it was. She just winked and said it's showbiz snow. Liverpudlin Tina, best known for her role as foul-mouthed Mimi Maguire in Channel 4 Shameless, was pictured only hours before her arrest eating a takeaway burger in between shows. Her four-year-old daughter Flame and husband Paul Chase, who is 19 years her junior, were in the theatre when police swooped. She reportedly asked police not to handcuff her as she was led away while members of the audience were leaving.
Our source said, as she came off stage, she heard a rumor police had been tipped off she was using cocaine. What did she come as? Tina Malone bears midriff in bizarre strapless bra and hot pants combo. She tried to get a taxi, but police stopped her in time and took her inside the venue to search her. She begged the police not to handcuff her, and seemed very worried. A Cumbria police spokesman said, police were called at 8.21 p.m. on Friday to the report of a female being in possession of an illegal substance. A 54-year-old woman from Merseyside was arrested on suspicion of being in possession of a Class A drug. The woman was detained whilst she helped police with their enquiries. She was later cautioned for the offence. After Tina's shock departure, production bosses drafted in a male stand-in, Alan French, for the final shows. A spokesman for Joe Purdy Productions says, We and the artist involved have made a mutual decision to terminate contract with immediate effect as soon as we were made aware of the situation. The cast and crew were deeply shocked and saddened but in true panto spirit, the show must go on. But our source claimed the rest of the cast were pleased to see the back of Diva Tina, who has also appeared in Victoria Wood's sitcom Dinner Ladies and C4 Soap Brookside. The source said, she was moody and always swearing, even at the kids. Another show insider said, we had to move Tina from her original accommodation in a refurbished block of flats to one of the most expensive hotels in the area as she complained constantly. She didn't know the songs for the first show and one of the dancers had to sing it and she lost it with the kid and reduced her to tears. Tina didn't really mix with the rest of the cast. Tina was unavailable for comment despite repeated requests. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.